Jersey Shore, who likes that? Oh yeah, the Blitz and Frasier show's on! 84. And that's how Bonnie got caught by the police. Now we're going to a commercial break. No, we're not. When, we're not? Nope. Courtney Cox paid for it with her life savings. She didn't want that commercial there? Nope. So, uh, I guess the art history section is next. Yep. Uh, so now we go live to France. Chicago's very own Austin Fraser and your favorite newscaster, Michael the Blitz. France! Morning. Here we are in France. At uh, the site of the historic cave, the Charvette Cave. One of the first caves ever to be painted in. Yes, I said it. And here we are right here. There's an actual painting. We, we snuck up to one. This, this cave has actually been off limits to uh, the public because of uh, mold damage due to people's breaths. Also, this cave was discovered by a uh, father and daughter... Uh, hiking expedition early on and they also thought it was fake until proved by carbon dating that uh it was real as I said before it is awesome Roar! what what was that oh my hey, hey. you we need to get out of here let's I go think... oh my ah! 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 Okay. Oh, oh I'm so scared I'm so scared. Oh, I didn't know they had ligers guarding the national monuments. Well, they started the uh, the guarding of the national monuments in a uh, after the movie GI Joe. They took that whole uh, Eiffel Tower blowing up scene, pretty literal. Oh, I'm scared. So they they got ligers to guard the place. You remember I reported on it. Well, uh, after that, we returned to America. And Austin actually lost his toe in the event. They uh, had to replace him with a baby carrot for the time being. So we have a new cameraman filling in. Right, Phil? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so I, I put together a PowerPoint. And uh, here it is. Uh, this is Michael, and this is my presentation. And uh, I had prehistoric art in Europe and art in the Near East. And this is it. The first painting I'd like to show you guys is uh, the wall painting. Uh, wall painting in Chauvet. It's the painting with horses, rhinoceros, and archers. It's in Chauvet Cave, which is, I've said it earlier in the presentation, uh, one of the first caves ever to be painted in, they believe. And it's in Valiant Point d'Arc, Archer, George, France. And it was made between 30,000 and 28,000 BCE, painted on limestone. And this one is in Cave Perch Millard Cave and it's spotted horses and human hands. The hands and the horses were actually made at two, two different times. The horses were painted between 25,000 and 24,000 BCE and the hands were put in much later at 15,000 BCE. I mean over 30 different parts. In this cave they have over 30 different parts of the underground complex in the Perch Millard Cave. This one is the Hall of Bulls. It's in, it's in Lesco Cave and Dorgain, France. It was made around 15,000 BCE. Painted on limestone and the largest bull is actually over 18 feet. It's pretty big. Uh, this is one of the first relief uh, sculptures ever made. It's bison. It's in high relief. It was made around 13,000 BCE. It is uh, made out of unbaked clay and it's found in Le Toup de la France. This is Stonehenge as we all know. It's an excellent example of post and lintel. And it's on the Salisbury Plain in Wiltshire, England. It was made between 27,250 27, BCE and 1500 BCE. And it is made of heelstone, which is found actually pretty far away from Stonehenge, which we don't really know how it was brought there. And this is the second chapter, Ancient Art Near East. And the first painting I'd like to show you in this one is the Lamasses, which is, uh, it was a gateway uh, sculpture at the front of the Sarah in Kalu, at the, uh, at the uh, front of the palace there. And it's now in present day Iraq. 880, it was made between 883 BCE and 859. 
is a colossal gateway figure at the palace of Asumi. <laughs> it has five legs, so it looks like it is. It looks like it's has four from all viewing angles. This is the next one I'd like to show you is the Great Lear with Bull's Head. It is made for a royal tomb, and the tomb is now in modern day Iraq. It was made between 250,000. 2550. 2550 through 2400 BCE, and it's made out of gold, silver, wood. This is a votive statue of Guida. Uh, it was made in Gersura, present day Iraq. It was made in 2090 BCE. Has the, it's act, it is 20 inches tall. He was a king, and he's always portrayed wearing a long garment, and he is and this one, he's holding a vessel from which life-giving waters flow. The text on his garment says that he is he had he dedicated himself the statue and its temple of the goddess of Gashinma, which deciphers dreams. The Code of Hammurabi. This is a very interesting piece, I believe, because it is one of the first places where the law is actually written down and everyone can see what's wrong and stuff. At the top, you can see where. Uh, Hammurabi is talking to his god and he's telling him what to write on this tablet. It's approximately seven feet tall and it was made in 1792 through 1750 BCE. And that's all for my uh, presentation. Thank you for listening. Uh, these are the invo important vocab uh, you guys need to know for my chapters. This is chapter one vocab. First of all, we have relief. It's uh, carved from the rock below to show prominence. And then we have modeling, shaping the damp clay on the cave floor. Then we have ridge pole, a long horizontal beam against which the sliding roofs were braced. And then we have probably the most important of all from this chapter is post and lintel. Basic architecture uses two vertical poles and a horizontal beam on top, which is the basics for all construction. And then here's vocab chapter two, cuneiform, which is the first writing ever, ever. And then the half stylus, which is uh, a pointed writing instrument. Then we have a ziggurat, which is huge stepped structure with shrines on top, votive figures, images dedicated to the god, iconography, the study of images, and the heriotic scale, where the more powerful figures are portrayed larger. Na 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 Now for the second half of the Fritz Blitz Report. <laughs> so Austin, I heard you uh lost your uh pinky toe in France. Yep, lost it due to a liger attack, actually, because of you. <laughs> so what they replace it with, a banana or a baby carrot? Yes. So uh what are we gonna do? <sighs> Nation under in chapter six, which is Etruscan and Roman art. Miss Suwiki thought it would be cool if she gave me the yeah, longest. She chapter said not to book. read from the script. Script. Okay. She thought it'd be cool if uh, she gave me the longest chapter in the book, and uh, I'm gonna strive, Miss Suwiki. I'm gonna strive. This message is going to you, Miss S. <laughs> and uh, up in Italy is my clone, uh, our star reporter Austin. He's uh, actually at the Ferrari factory in Rome and the surrounding areas. Wait, I have, I have a question. Is he the one that got a banana and you got the baby carrot? Yes. And uh, Austin, are you there? Are you in Italy? I'm here in Italy where... Uh, Sound like Billy we're Mays. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're in Rome and the surrounding area of Pompeii and whatnot. And uh, Ferrari's... Very Italian, as you can see by my hat and my flag. <laughs> I'm definitely in Italy. Okay? Uh, it's nearby Pompeii, so uh, where they built the factory, so I guess you could say Ferrari cars kick ash. Bad car pun. Kick ash. Okay, and uh, now I'm in Italy, uh, in Rome, actually. Uh, in the background, there's the Arch of Titus. Look at wow. it. Wow. Look at the Arch of Titus. Yeah, it was a. Uh, Dude! It's actually made for Titus. And, uh, that's what it's called, the Arch of Titus. And Does he have any other sculptures after him? Maybe that he conquered in the campaigns of some war no, or something? No, that's, that's Trajan. It's Trajan. And, uh. Oh my god, there's the Colosseum! Oh, it just changed! The, Coliseum. the scenery changed! Oh my god! Dude, the scenery just changed. Are you zoomed in? Yeah, yeah, or yeah! Are you zoomed out now? Yeah, yeah!